Shalom, friends, and welcome to The God Who Answers Back. In this special episode of The God Who Answers Back, we are going to visit a phenomenal meeting that took place in 1954 and was captured on magnetic tape. The Bible records special situations, such as in Luke 5, 17, where the power of God was present to heal. We are about to enter a situation like that. The blind see, the deaf hear, all kinds of diseases are miraculously healed one after another in this amazing 30 minutes. Also, we find in the Bible that Jesus Christ knew by the Spirit the hidden secrets of those who stood before him. As the prophet Daniel knew the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, so in this meeting we will hear God through his servant calling out the diseases of the afflicted in advance before healing them. You have never heard a meeting like this before. Listen now as the God who answers back makes his presence known before a live audience. How do you do, sister? Now I just want to talk to you a moment. You are the first person to come up here tonight that by his grace, just talking to you like Jesus talked to the woman at the well, talked to her about a drink, and he knew what was wrong with her. He told her where her trouble was. And it was true, wasn't it? She admitted she had the five husbands. Now, you're standing there, maybe you come up in this healing line for sickness. Now, he can tell me just exactly where the sickness is, what it's all about, or anything else he wants to tell me. I do not know you. I have never seen you in my life. And I don't know whether you know me or not, do you? You've seen me. Where was it at? In Chicago. Well, that's fine. All right. Then you just know me by sitting in the audience and looking, perhaps. That's it. Probably the closest we ever was together in life, as far as we know. But yet, God has watched you every move that you've made. He's watched me every move that I have made. Now, you're standing there in need, and I'm standing here trying to help you. Now, if I could help you and wouldn't do it, I'd be a brute. But if I be God's servant and have told the truth of this gift, then God will testify that it's the truth. Is that right? Now, the audience is the judge. Now, just for this one case, this one case here, here's a woman, one of your Chicago women here, she's standing here uh, in need. I don't know what she has need of. She may have cancer. She may have tumor. Uh, she may have a nervous breakdown. I don't know. God does. I do not. And the woman don't even, the woman don't even know me, and I don't know her. But God knows both of us. Is that right? Now, if the Lord will reveal to this woman, while just Setting, standing watching her, or speaking with her, then will you all believe that the Lord Jesus has brought an ensign to Chicago that he's the Lord that heals all your diseases? Amen. Now, I want you to just look. Now, I believe you said you were from Aberdeen, Mississippi. Is that so? Oh, I said, oh, oh, you saw me in Chicago. All right. I just wanted to talk to you. That's all right. Now, you are, I want this to, you know, look on me, as Peter and John said, just look on us, you see. And as Jesus tried to attract the attention of the woman at the well, so do I to you. Well, you've been living in Chicago, you've been staying here, but you do belong in Mississippi and you're figuring on turning back right away. You're going back. Is that right? <laughs> That's true. And, um... Your desire is a loved one, and that loved one is a husband. One time you had a happy home, but it was broke up by your husband backsliding, and he's become to drinking. And you're here tonight. The main thing, you are nervous and needy, but your main thing is to see your husband get saved. And you've come believing, and something come on your heart this very day, that if you could stand in his stead here and I'd ask God. I'm not reading your mind, but isn't that what happened today? That your husband drank when leaving. And a while ago and more, I see you sitting in the audience. When I saw a talking to that alcoholic, something come up on you that said, this will be the night it will be done. <laughs> there you are. There's the Holy Spirit here revealing. Now that's the woman's desires. That's in her life. Is that right, sister? If that's right, raise up your hand. Come here. Father God, in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who's here present now, I ask that that demon spirit 
of alcoholism that's bound her husband to break up their home and cause this trouble, may it come out of the man, I condemn it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sending his word across the nation and condemning that spirit in her husband. May they be reunited and a happy home again for God's glory. God, that's your son. Hallelujah. Satan is bound him. He's my brother. Satan, come out of him yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I adjure thee to leave the man. Amen. Amen. Go and find it so, my sister. All right, brother Moore. Now, be reverent. You believe that God has, the Lord Jesus Christ has been raised up from the dead? Amen. Then the very things that he said that he would do, that he is doing? You believe it now? Amen. With all your heart? All right, be reverent then and believe. You will receive. Do you believe it's sitting there, lady, praying, looking on me so sincerely? Do you believe God could reveal to me your trouble from right here? You do? Do you, get over, you believe that sinus is going to leave you and you're going to get well? If you do, stand up on your feet, the lady there is left. Do you believe that? Do you believe it's your heel now? If you believe it, you can go home and be well. And lady, you sitting out there at the end, out there, you had it also. You believe you got well too of the sinus at the same time? Then stand up on your feet, and you are healed also. You can go and be rid of it. Amen. How do you do, sir? You believe with all your heart? All right. I want you to look on me as God's servant and as your brother. And I realize that around you is a dark spirit, which is death, and it's setting up on you. And only God can liberate you. You're suffering, and the trouble is in your lungs. You've been to a doctor. The doctor has done some work on you. He couldn't do nothing for you, and he's given you up. And that trouble in you is black, it's hideous, and it's cancer. It's a cancer in your lungs. And aren't you a German? Yes. Yeah. I thought so. Come here. You write to Germany about this and tell your friends when I get there to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, God Father, who made the man, I condemn the disease of his body for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ and say to the devil called cancer, come out of the man for a testimony in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Go rejoice. Have faith in God and believe with all your heart. And the Lord Jesus Christ shall bring to pass anything that you ask and believe that he'll do it. Now, every person in here, right now, of course, is beginning to get weak and get numb. Now, every person in here can be made well if you just believe it. Amen. That's the end sign. That's what Jesus said. Be signs will follow them that believe. The works that I do, they'll do also. Is that the work that God did? What do you think about it sitting there? He's sitting there with the arthritis. Do you believe that God will heal you? The lady sitting there? Do you believe that God heals you the arthritis then? Stand up on your feet then. Stomp your feet up and down. The arthritis has gone from you. Amen. Your faith touched him, lady. Amen. The lady sitting there next to you has hardening of the arteries. She wants to get over it too. Isn't that right, lady? Your faith touched him. You're healed now. You can go home. Hallelujah. Now your faith is moving. Just let it be loose. And the Lord Jesus Christ will bless you and will give you everything that you have need of. Have faith. All right, bring the man. All right, be reverent. Believe with all your heart. The Lord Jesus Christ will perform just what he said. How do you do, sir? You believe me as his servant? You do. All right. Then we are both eternal bound man. And I must talk to you as a dying man talking to a dying man. Knowing this, that God will judge us both at the day of the judgment, when the secrets of every heart shall be disclosed at that time. But you've come to me tonight because you're suffering, and you've got a stomach trouble that's bothering you. Is that the truth? 
And also, you're totally blind, in one eye and almost blind in the other. Your eyes look good and clear, but you're going blind. That's true, isn't it? If that's the truth, raise your hand. Do you believe God sent me to give you your sight and to heal you? Through the name of his son, Jesus? I'll tell you what's the cause of your stomach trouble. You've got an ulcer in your stomach. And that's caused by a habit you have. Smoking. That when you do that, puts it down the nicotine on your stomach, which burns that and causes you to be you can never be better until you stop. Are you ready tonight to surrender everything to God and be made well? You'll do it if you will raise your hands to him. Now bow your head, audience. Almighty God, creator of heavens and earth, author of everlasting life. Give blessings to this dear man, I pray. May your spirit come upon him, and may he receive his sight, and let him live, Lord. He wants to live. He don't want to be blind, walking along the street, pecking with a cane. He wants to live. And may this demon of blindness that struck this poor man's eye, Lord, you've fed him all of his life. You've given him the very breath he breathed. And I pray that you'll take this blindness off of him tonight and make him whole. Through Jesus, the Son of God, I ask it. Now, with every head bowed and every eye closed, please, just a moment. Now, you keep your eyes closed, too, sir, just a moment. Now, Almighty Creator of heavens and earth, be merciful to the man as I ask for his healing, not for show, Lord, but that the people might know that you can restore sight. I ask it humbly for your glory and say to the blind spirit that's blind the eyes of this, my brother, come out of him in the name of Jesus Christ. Every head bowed and eyes closed just a moment. Now raise your head this minute. I open this arm and sign. You see? See? Put your finger on my nose. All right? Now put your finger on my nose. All right, you raise your head. The blind has received his sight. On his blind eye, watch here. Let me hold you. Put your finger on my nose, sir. Put your finger on my nose, sir. You are healed, sir. Go, the Lord Jesus be with you. God bless you. God bless you. Happy now. Looks different out there now, doesn't it? The man standing here said he looks different. You can see all around out there now. Everything's all right and normal. God has healed him. God bless you, sir. Don't sin no more. Stop that smoking. That's your ulcer will go out of your stomach. You'll be a good man. Right. God bless you. Go be filled with the Holy Ghost now and give him praise. Praise be to the Lamb of God who can restore sight to the blind. The man was totally blind in one eye and almost blind in the other. He has good normal sight. Then Jesus came and set the captive free. The same Lord Jesus that did that night can do tonight as he did then. How do you do, sir? You believe me to be God's prophet or his servant? Yes, sir. You believe it. I believe you to be a sincere man that's standing there. We're strangers to each other, as far as I know. We never met in life. But that is true, isn't it? Yes. But God knows us both. Now you're in the presence of his being, sir, not your brother, of his being. And I can tell you now that you have come for the same cause that the man come for a few moments ago. It's your eyes. You're going blind. Something happened in your eyes. You can't stop it. It keeps moving on. You've come from a long ways here driving. You've drove here from way somewhere southward. You've come northward, and you're in a city it's got a great big building in it. And facing the east is a lovely garden like it's a high building, beautiful place. It's Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Go back. Jesus Christ will send you back with your sight to be well. God bless you for your faith. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Only believe, have faith in God. If thou canst believe. Thou shalt see the glory of the living God. Chicago, what is the matter up here? Why is this world in such darkness? Why is gross darkness upon the people's heart? Why does the Spirit call out constantly and the Gentiles are shutting their hearts from the message? Why are you? Because you're fed well, you're clothed well, knowing not these mercies come from God? Do you know the hour is coming when you'll be weeping and crying? And warning of these things when you'll not get them? Yes. Wait while time is at hand. And while you can receive God, receive Him. 
Amen. But this next, oh, hang on. How do you do? You believe with all your heart? You believe if the Lord Jesus would let me know what's on your heart, that you would uh, you would be healed or whatever he's asking? You believe it? With, you, you believe it. All right. I trust that he will, sister. We'll do it. I begin to see coming between you and I now a long stretches of land. It looks like wheat or prairie country. Small cities placed about. And there's a woman that's a lame, and she is dying with a cancer. And that woman is in Canada. And if I'd say the place looks to me as is a Saskatchewan, and she has got a cancer, and she's a relative of yours. The woman was once tried to get to me, and I failed to be at the place because of a snowstorm that helped me up, and you've come to stand in her stead. Is that true? That was not my voice, sister. That was his voice. Now, do you believe you're standing in his presence? If I shall ask for the blessing that you asked for tonight, and you with your faith believing that he is here to hear, will you receive what you've asked for? Kind Heavenly Father, I ask this for your glory, that the people might know that you're the Lord Jesus. And I pray that whatever is on her heart, that her desires will be met. Grant it, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. God bless you, sister. Go and receive now. Don't doubt. Just believe with all your heart, and you will receive. Amen. Have faith in God. Don't doubt. Distance has nothing to do with God. He knows all things. Does all things well. Do you believe that? Yes. You believe God will heal you of that heart trouble sitting there? You believe it, lady, with all your heart? You don't have a prayer card, do you? You don't need a prayer card. Yes. You don't need a prayer card. No, you're pointing towards someone there. I said you, the lady with the flowers on her hat. Yeah. You have heart trouble. You believe the Lord will make you well? You believe me to be his servant? You're interested in someone else that's the person sitting next to you. And that's your daughter. And that daughter is very bad in need. Tumor. And she also has a nervous condition that causes mental upset. Isn't that right? If that is right, raise your hand. Put your hand over on your child, sister. And sister, lay your hand on your mother. Lord, look down now with eyes of pity, and may they who their faith has touched thee, and thou hast turned thy servant to them. And I'm offering this prayer in their behalf. May they both be healed. For your glory, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, you said if you get the people to believe you and be sincere when you pray, nothing shall stand before the prayer. And you said these signs would be given that they might know that thou hast sent thy servant to pray for the sick. Now I pray that they'll be healed through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. God bless you. May you go and be well. You, lady, right now, your heart beats different, doesn't it? You're healed. <clears throat> you can go home. It looks to me that right now, of course, I'm getting weak, but there stands that fiery pillow hanging right there in that same place. And I see it's by an elderly-like woman, and she's a thin-like woman with her hair combed back, and she's suffering with a vircoist vein in her leg. Now, she's in this section somewhere here. It was right up. There's the lady sitting right there. There's a little black tie on. 
Raise up, sister, that I might pray for you. Lord, her faith looking to those others and seeing what you are doing, I ask that you heal her, Lord, and make her days many and happy. I ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, sister. Go home now. May the very Christ vein dry up from you and not bother you no more. Jesus, make you well. Come, lady. Do you believe with all your heart? You're a very healthy-looking woman, but you suffer with a female trouble, don't you? You believe that he's going to make you well? You want me to put my hands on you because that's the way you're taught, so come here just a moment. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, may our sister be healed for God's glory. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sister. Go now and believe. All right, sister, would you come, please? Oh, my. What a, what a time, Christian. Someday on the other side of the evergreen tree, when we talk of this night, remember, I'm saying now that the Lord Jesus is here. He loves you all. And I believe it's him speaking through me to you now. Look to him and live. Look to him and be healed all the ends of the earth. Look to him, Chicago, the hour of your decision is at hand. Choose Christ tonight and pray God to send an old-fashioned revival throughout the city. Amen. How do you do, sister? You want to get over that tumor? You believe God will heal you without an operation? Come here. Dear God, standing with my back turned to her, but feel that demon pulling, begging. He knows that faith is near now. And I ask you, Lord, to give faith to our sister and to thy servant. And now, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the life go out of this tumor, and may it die like the tree did that you cursed. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Amen. God bless you. All right. The most dangerous disease of the world, heart trouble. <clears throat> But Jesus lives in the heart also. He is the strength of your heart. Do you believe that? Come here. You've got a nervous heart. Lord, quieten the nerves of this mortal being standing here. You quieten the waves on the sea that night, said, Peace be still. The great calm swept over. The everlasting winds folded their wings and sounded to the bottom of the sea. And it was nestled to sleep. At peace while the master of the sea crossed to heal the sick. Peace to this woman tonight, Lord. And in a representative way, I lay my hands upon her and say to these nerves and to this heart that's jumping and flashing, be still. Obey the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ as he speaks it from his word. I ask this heart to quieten and these nerves to quieten in the name of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, whom I represent. Amen. Now look how quiet you are now. See how you quieten? Now you can go now and be well. Be made well. Go and just feel different now. You're healed. Let's say praise be to God. My little lamb, my son, do you believe that if the Lord Jesus was here, Mother, what do you think he would do if he was here? And this little lad, you brought him to the Lord Jesus. Now, the first thing, the Lord Jesus would know what was wrong with that boy, because he was the one who gave him. He's the one who fed him. And if there's any sickness wrong with the boy, the devil done it. Little lad, would you give your heart to Christ and serve him with all your heart if he would make you well, love him? Would you do the same, lady, for the life of this child, serve him? God bless you. Frankly, you have been trying a little closer walk to find favor with God that the diabetes of this child would leave and he would get well. Isn't that right? 
because a child of that age of diabetes is in a terrible condition. But who made the blood of man? God did. You believe, and even had faith, if I lay hands on that child, that he'd get well. Isn't that true? Yes, sir. Now come here, laddie. The Lord Jesus is here. He'd tell you them kind of a thing. And he'd lay his hands upon you and bless you. You'd get well. Now you're just a laddie boy. But Jesus went up to the Father. He had to give his mortal life that you could be healed. For it's through his blood he paid the price of sin and sickness. And he gave his life, his blood, for that. But he's returned again in the power of the Holy Spirit and using his church, his ministers, to lay hands on the sick to get well, as he told them to do. Now, do you believe that if I lay my hands on you and ask in his name, he who could tell me what your trouble is, what your mother's been doing, and all about your life, do you believe that if I'd ask him now that that disease would leave your body and you'd be a good well man and would serve him? God bless this lad, who I bless in your name. And Father, God, who makes the blood beat through my body at this minute, and thou dost make the blood that beat through his body. Satan has done the evil, and I ask that Satan removes from the boy. Come out of him, thy enemy, in the name of Jesus Christ. You may not be handled by a doctor, but God is more than you are. So leave the boy. Through Jesus Christ's name, God's provided sacrifice for healing. Amen. Blessings on you, little lad. It will lead you. God bless you. Stop your worrying. Rejoice. God bless you. Let's believe with all of our heart now that the Lord Jesus is near. As you come near, sister, cold, damp, spirit, anointing, meaning death, you suffer with a cancer. But the Lord Jesus Christ can take the life out of that cancer and make you well. Do you believe that? Now, doctors do all they can do, but they're a man like I am. Now, I can do all I can do, that is, do what Jesus told me to do. Now, can you do what he told you to do? Believe whatsoever thing you desire. When you pray, believe you receive, you shall have it. Can you believe that with all your heart? Can you overshadow all of everything else and just walk and say, Tonight I am healed by the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm standing here now by a man that I believe to be his servant. I walk up here as a stranger to him. He tells me what's wrong with me and tells me that Jesus wants to heal me if I only believe it. Will you accept it? And come forward. Kind Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, grant that this little woman who's standing here full of curiosity and everything, I pray that you'll cast away every fear, every doubt, and the demon that binds her now may it leave her in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I go happy, rejoicing, sister, and praising God for his goodness. <clears throat> All right. Believe. All right, of course, we see. You believe God heals your eyes right there sitting there? Amen. God bless you. Go right on. Amen. Amen. I want you to bow your head a minute for a death spirit on the woman. Would you bow your head this moment? We're not trying to... Now, a while ago in showing that the blind could see, I didn't do that to be smart. Certainly, it's given to me to cast out evil spirits. But I'll let the people have their faith. You must have faith yourself. But sometimes... I see something in my heart says, do this, that the people might know that I am with them. That's the reason, by the grace of God, restored sight to the blind man. That's the reason tonight that you will see, maybe, if God willing, the woman here, as you see, the deaf spirit, she's trying to lean forward to read my lips. But now you bow your head, keep your head bowed, till I ask you to raise your head, please. Almighty God, creator of heavens and earth, thou dost know all things. And know that thy servant is not trying to make a show of thy being. But, Lord, only that the people might know that you're God and I am your servant. I ask for this to be done widely open just now. And this woman is unprivileged of hearing the gospel. The Bible tells us thy word. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing of the word of God. Now, if she, this deaf spirit has her bound that she cannot hear, then, Father, she cannot have faith like she would if she could hear the gospel. Then I ask for a miracle. I ask to restore the hearing of this woman. And grant it, Father, for your glory. If thy servant has found grace in thy sight, let it be so tonight. For your glory and for an ensign to Chicago that they must repent 
our destruction lays ahead. I pray that you'll grant these blessings through Jesus thy Son. And now, Satan, you who deafened the woman, I charge thee by the living God and by the Son of the living God, whom I represent here by a gift of divine healing, ministered to me by an angel, come out of the woman, you can't hold her. I'm free. I'm you hear me now? Free. Yes. Open your eyes, look I'm this free. away. I'm free. You hear me? Yes. Say amen. Amen. I, I love the Lord. I love my Lord. You had something wrong with your feet. Yes. They're healed also. Now go on your road rejoicing and happy. <laughs> Let's say praise the Lord. Hey. A woman been dead for a long time. Well, when I asked the demon to leave her, every fiber of her body shook. And she began crying out right then, I'm free, I'm free, I can hear, I can hear. Right at that time, Jesus, the Son of God, the Bible said when the death spirit went out of the man, he could hear. Amen. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Stand close, you all. Um, look this way, lady. Um, you believe me as God's servant? You're ready for an operation. And the operation is for a growth, which is called tumor. Is that right? You believe God will take it away from you? Then in the name of Jesus yes. Christ, may it leave tonight, I pray. Amen. Go believe him, sister dear, with all your heart, and God will bring it to pass just exactly what you've asked for. My lady, you believe he'll heal you? You believe he'll take away the, the diabetes? Everything is wrong with you. You believe he'll make you well right now? Lord Jesus I pray that you'll heal this woman and make her completely well for your glory in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you, sister. Go rejoicing. I just, uh, Reverend, again, just a moment. I don't know whether one of the ladies that left just then was healed. I see it hanging this away the Spirit of the living God, but they were moving and I couldn't tell just what happened. It looked like someone was standing. Now, it's, it's following the lady that was just come by this way. It's riding around her. It stays, or oh, it's a lady sitting there with a pink-looking dress on. With her head down, she's in prayer. She's suffering with diabetes. You believe, lady, with all your heart? You believe that Jesus, you were in prayer, you were believing. He heard your prayer. The lady, I see what it was. Remain standing just a moment. That lady was just healed, wasn't that diabetic also? That's where that spirit was calling from. Or it was you in prayer to be healed of diabetes. Isn't that right? That is true. And that, what that spirit was following the lady, if you want to see grace of God, looky here. Someone was disturbing, moving out. And I know something happened. It was a woman in prayer. A lady was healed with diabetes. She on the platform, moved around, and I missed the woman. And the Holy Spirit with grace following this woman until it got right there and stopped. Satan, knowing his time had come, the Holy Spirit pointing the woman out. I've never seen it before like that. You're a believer, sister, are you? You're also, that's your husband in front of you there. Is that right? He's suffering with a nervous trouble. Isn't that right? I'm not reading your mind. That's your child that's afflicted. Isn't that right? You also have a daughter. Isn't that right? She's in Bible school. Isn't that right? She has a girl. God make you well in Jesus.